Well, Gary, back to winning ways again. Is that a perfect response to Saturday's defeat? I was just pleased for the players, you know. Um, we were unfortunate Saturday because we spells we looked a good side and done well in the game, but we didn't get any kind of result. Today, I thought we played well and deserved the result. Yeah, and um, I asked you, but I was asking Saturday, when games come so thick and fast, is it sometimes a good, good thing when this is almost like Saturday's forgotten about now, everyone's in good spirits again and the yeah, doom and gloom seems to have washed away. <laughs> you can't please everybody all the time, can you? But we've, we've able today to please our home supporters, which is all the group and the staff we're looking to do, you know. Uh, we go into every game looking to win, win the game. Unfortunately, we can't play well all the time. Unfortunately, we can't win all the, all the games. It's the nature of the game that we're in, but we've got a very, very good performance today and a real good result against a very good side. Sure. Think the red card changed your game? No, the referee saw it. Uh, I'm not a referee, so I don't even want to talk about it. Uh, my team. What about the penalty they got at the end? Uh, did you see that at all? It, uh, no, I only saw the referee go over to the linesman. Uh, but the last five or six minutes weren't very pleasant. Um, heart rate went up a little notch, uh, but we got there in the end. Did you ask the linesman what he saw? Did he give you an answer? No, there's no point. He's given the decision. So I was uh, in a, a calm mood or frame of mind today, so I'm not going to give it any uh, chat towards the officials today whatsoever. And Saturday we head to Wrexham. The games certainly don't get any easier, but again, it's another good test for this young team, isn't it? But it is, but we'll gain some confidence from today, you know, and um, they've started the season extremely well. So um, it's a tough, tough place to go to. Uh, we'll be looking forward to it when it comes around. Craig Abu was awarded man and match. So he certainly could have gone to Ed, anyone in the team today. Is that pleading as well? Certainly, like you said before, this is a very young squad. It's a very new squad. That they get performances like this and they show everyone they can play together and show everyone what they're about as well. They're good players. We need to show some patience at times especially when things are not going our way. Uh, we have to be patient. Some of the players are really, really young within the group. Um, and there was a number of young players today that uh, turned up and performed extremely well. We need to be patient. And Jacob got his first goal, and he was involved in the red card incident. He was very skillful today, and he certainly caused them a lot of problems. Is that something that fans can expect to see every week? No, they, they saw him in pre-season. He's a talented young man. He scored today. Um, he could have had a better day at a hell of a run. Got himself into the box if he's finished with being better on his right foot. He would have had an even better day. But um, he's a talented young man who's learning his trade, and we have to be patient. Also, his, his performances will be up and down, but they were they were up today, and uh, you could see what Matt McClory is. We had a uh, Matt McClory scored on Saturday. He wasn't involved today. He was substituted quite early Saturday as well. So was that because of his an injury? Yeah, he's got a slight problem, uh, but we have to manage manage the players as well. The game's going to come fast and um, okay. we have to right. rotate the, the group around. The rest players when we have to, some players will, as I said, early part of the season, some will be in the team uh, one week and they won't be in the squad this, uh, the following week. We have to accept that. We have to keep it fresh. We made a couple of changes today. We freshened it up and uh, we got the result that we were looking for. But the players that weren't involved today played up, so we're all in it together. Is that an advantage where you you create a hungry squad where players are always this this side doesn't pick itself, does it? No one's guaranteed a place in the team. If you're in there, you better make sure you perform because there's players on the outside looking to come in. Um, if you've got that shirt on, make sure you perform. And again, it's a on Saturday. Do we go there with our own game plan and not play to accommodate their strengths? We respect the opposition, we always respect the opposition, but if you don't turn up yourself, um, we'll always have a game plan, but you have to make sure that the game plan is put in place on match day. If we do that, we'll, we'll cause teams problems. Um, as I said, we'll respect the opposition, but we have to make sure that we put our mark on any given game. And going back to injuries, uh, what sort of squad do you expect to have in shape on Saturday? Is there are many coming back or many you expect to be out? Let's enjoy the moment. I'm not a clue. I'm enjoying the result today. Rexham will take care of itself later on in the week.